All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to a special episode of Bronze to Mythic World Championship 2023 Edition. And uh, I did my full my full Worlds recap on my main channel where I go over the entire event, testing process, testing house, everything. Go watch it on the main YouTube channel. But for Bronze to Mythic, I want to go over my two drafts specifically. So the format for Worlds was Wild of Eldraine Draft and uh, Wild of Eldraine Standard. And uh, there was a draft each day. Every every day, day one and day two was a draft in three rounds and then four rounds constructed. And uh, we're going to go over both my decks and the drafts right here, uh, right now. So, first draft. I'm in my pod and I'm sitting next, sitting across from Simon Nielsen, who was the, the best player in my pod. Simon Nielsen won player of the year this year. And otherwise, a pretty thin pod, though. Uh, aside from Simon, not many players are recognized. Pretty good place to be, honestly. So, open up pack one. And what did I take back one? Honestly, I think it was Torch Tower. Yeah, just take pick, pick one back one Torch Tower over a couple uncommons or whatever. Nothing particularly great. Um, one of the best commons of a set. Good place to start. Red super deep. We determined that red and black were like the best two colors by a good amount, honestly. And the best, the deepest places to start also because they will pair well basically everything. So take Torch Tower and uh, through pack one, I get past and Imidane's Recruiter with a Rare Missing. So, of course, those who don't know, Imidane's Recruiter is like the mythic uncommon of a set, one of the highest win rate cards of a set. Just an unbelievably phenomenal card. Uh, the the front side is just good by itself. Like a 3-mana three 3-2-2 three, that pumps the whole team and gives haste is just a good card. Uh, and then, of course, the adventure part is also just super excellent. Makes two creatures. Very common play pattern is turn five, cast for two 2-2s. Two, two, turn six, cast this and another creature and just kill your opponent. So, get past your Recruiter, that's big game, Right? Pass the Recruiter, um, and then uh, pack one sees me taking a few other black cards. Uh, might have been like a third pick. Uh, take it my Nightmares, I think, or something like that. But after pack one, I have like, eh, maybe like two or three black cards. I think I had like one white card and a bunch of red cards. And I obviously kind of want to be white, but not a lot of white came through. And white's also never not a very deep color in this format. Uh, you know, it has two or three like really good commons, but the rest aren't that exciting. So, don't mind being black, red, and splashing the recruiter off of uh, treasures or whatever else. Uh, had I had passed two of the two, three that makes treasure in pack one, didn't come back, but is what it is. So, open up pack two, and I see Lord Skitter, the Sewer King, staring back at me. Okay, everybody tuck your pants into your socks. Obviously, a phenomenally good rare. Uh, just really, really good card in general, and sort of like, okay... I think that's my spot. I now I have now I've you know selected my my second color. I'm gonna be black. So I pick up Lord Skitter. Uh, pick up a few other cards here or there, maybe Minstrosity or something like that. You know, so decent you know pool of cards going to pack three. Pretty solidly red black. Uh, no fixing unfortunately though. Couldn't really find any fixing to make the white aside from one grabby giant. Uh, but going to pack three, and I get past a third pick Imidane's Recruiter in pack three. So. Very, very happy at this point. I'm now looking really, really good. Uh, deck's great. Looking out really hard for any way to splash this white cost, uh, but don't really find one in pack three. Even without the white, though, this deck is super solid. Uh, you know, four good two drops, one drop, a couple good removal spells here. You know, get Torch the Tower and Taken by Nightmares. A uh, couple good rares, or, or a good rare in Lord Skitter. Some good threes, double Recruiter. A little good top end here with both the two-headed hunter and the uh, the hearth elemental. So not like the best deck ever, but very very solid deck. Would happily take this deck over, you know, drafting again or whatever something like that. And uh, very very happy overall. You know, I've had the last like two pro tours have been a little rough for me in limited. Uh, Lord of the Rings especially, which is a rough pro tour for me draft wise. Just like couldn't find the lanes. Uh, and like one two bolt drafts. So very happy to be starting off worlds here with a good draft deck. I also. We didn't spend enough time drafting, honestly, probably for this event. We did a lot of Constructed, uh, which is kind of the converse of what we usually do. So, pretty happy. And uh, in a pod draft also, you got to remember that in Worlds, you're playing in your pod. So, you're playing with all the players you drafted with. And a lot of times what happens on Arena is you're in a pod with, like, a bronze player, a bronze player, a silver player, a gold player, a mythic player. And, like, you're not just, you know, you just get really, really good decks. And you don't play against those people because they're just in, you know, they're in bronze and whatever. So... You know, in a pod draft, you're playing a bunch of good players. You know, you don't see fourth pick Candy Grapple or whatever. You know, that never never happens in a player of good of good deck. So, deck was great. Playing against Simon Nielsen round one. Uh, he has like a, a pretty cool red green deck based around seeds of, seasons of growth. We have a close match. 
Uh, he miscounts damage on one turn. I just kill him the next turn. And then I win game two also. Uh, both Imidane's recruiter are just good draws. And uh, very, very happy playing Simon in the first round and beating him because Simon's the best player in the pod by far. Uh, so now I've cleared out the best player. I have a very, very solid deck. And I'm very, very happy. And then shit just goes wrong. Um, next two rounds, every possible bad thing that can happen to, happen to me happened. Um, you know, uh, next round I keep like mountain, mountain, plains, red card, red card, red card, black card, something like that. Draw black card, black card, black card, black card, black card, black card, yada, 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 whatever. Next game flood really bad. Like, whatever. You get, you know, I'm not going to tell the, the million bad beat stories. Basically everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong over the next two rounds. Uh, I know uh, my second round I was playing as my opponent was green, black. And I just flooded like insanely hard. I didn't draw either recruiter, and I had so I had so much mana in play. I could have just like you know played the adventure and played the recruiter all at once and attack for like almost lethal, and just like you know land 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 to the point where I saw CGB on Sunday, and CGB was watching the match from the from the rail, and then Ely was sitting next to me, and CGB said that Ely came up and went over to him and told my bad beat story for me <laughs> because I drew I drew that many lands, you know, just like super super awkward. So. And then round three, same same thing. I just like just drew really really badly, uh, mulligan to five in the first game, just like whatever. So end up one two, and I'm pretty sad honestly because this deck was excellent. You know, um, I would definitely expect a two one minimum, and this is definitely a deck that would like a, a, a three zero pod at a high level event. So pretty uh pretty sad honestly. Go four zero constructed playing mono white aggro again. All the info on that is in my uh, my main recap on the main channel. And end the day 5-2. Feeling pretty good. Nice recovery. Going into draft number two on day two. This one was not so good. Uh, very, very difficult seat. So pack one. Open a pack with some uncommons in it and a candy grapple. And take the grapple. One of the best, if the, uh, the best common of a set. Uh, super, super good. And we had black as the best place to start a draft. Because even if we thought the torch was a little bit better than candy grapple, uh, black pairs well with every color. Whereas red doesn't pair very very well with green or blue. So like black is like the place you want to start a draft. You know, so take Candy Grapple. Pack one's looking pretty good. Uh, pick up a Hamlet, pick up two Hamlet Gluttons, uh, like a Minstrosity, Conceited Witch. And I'm looking decent for black green going into pack two. You know, nothing, no rares, nothing crazy or whatever, but looking fine. Then pack two happens. Still a piece of garbage. Oh boy. Uh, pack two, there were just no black cards and honestly not many green cards either. Blue is very open as it always is because no one wants to be blue, but just a real, real disaster of a pack for me. And uh, going into pack three, you know, pack two, I picked up like a few late blue cards, uh, the Archive Dragon, um, a late Trojan, Gutsy Explorer. At this point, I already had two Hamlet Gluttons, so like, you know, maybe it's a possibility. Again, trying to find that like find that place to go, you know, and try to find the way to make the deck do something functional. Um, pick up a Prism, a couple Scarecrow Guides, whatever possible splashes, Utopia Sprawl. And then pack three, um, I think I first pick like a Hamlet Glutton again, or like a third Hamlet Glutton. And I get past an Unnatural Growth. It's actually a foil. So I actually went back-to-back -back foils here. Pretty fun. So you can see the foils here. Uh, and they're both so curved, I had to get them proxied. So the, uh, you can see here the uh, official Pro Tour proxies, maybe the judges so that I could play with the cards. Kind of fun. Uh, but, uh, so, get the unnatural growth, and now I'm like, all right, this card's a very solid card. This is a plan. You know, because the thing is, you're looking for some sort of a plan to, like, find a way to turn this pile into a way you can win some games. And growth is that, right? So I had I have three gluttons and a growth, which is a pretty good place to be. Uh, you know, I, at this point, I'm playing a bunch of farce, you know, with uh, Scarecrow Guide and Prism. Playing some real stinkers here. I don't want to play Scarecrow Guide that badly. You know, it's not very good. Playing a Ground Seal just to make sure I have enough bargain stuff for Glutton. Uh, just, just a pretty awkward deck, you know. And once again, I'm playing at Simon Nielsen, who was also in my pod again from day one. So playing at Simon Nielsen round one, he's playing like this Bant deck. And game one, my opening hand is Forest, Utopia Sprawl, Living Lectern, Candy Grapple, Troyan. Dragon, Glutton on the draw. So I've got two big creatures and the and the Explorer. I've got the one land and the Utopia Sprawl. And I have a blocker and I have Candy Grapple if I draw black or a way to do it. So I keep on the draw. I miss my second, miss my second land drop, play the, play the Sprawl. Turn three, Simon, Oblivion rings my Utopia Sprawl. Jerk. I draw the second land that turn. 
and I like have Electorin in play. We're kind of just chilling. And I was drawing to any land, but also drawing to Prophetic Prism, to Ground Seal, to Root Rider Fawn. Uh, Scarecrow Guide turned on the Candy Grapple. So like, I had a lot of draws. I would keep it again in a heartbeat, honestly. All my, my, my whole team was like, keep, no question. Uh, but Simon's draw isn't really that good either. So he's kind of just chilling, not doing much. And um, eventually I, uh, we hit like turn seven over. I still haven't found this land. And Simon plays a huge creature and yada, yada, yada. I find land three. I'm just too far behind, obviously. And we lose game one. Sucks. Game two, keep seven. Hand's pretty good. Uh, I, I have my, my Gutsy Explorer. I get a Hamlet Glutton in play. And I have an unnatural growth in my hand. And I can like play the growth, attack for 12, but he's at 14. So I decided to play a second Hamlet Glutton and set up for lethal the following turn. And he casts the freaking Wrath of God. Name six, kills both Gluttons and just destroys me. And uh, his deck was like pretty good, but clunky. And like pretty bummer way to start uh, the first match, obviously. My, my scrappy, crappy deck, you know, uh, almost gets there against uh, Simon's pretty good deck. Simon did three of the pod also. And then the next two rounds were just a bunch of shit, honestly. I just like, deck wasn't very good. My, my next opponent was Red Green. Went turn, turn one drop, two drop, turn three, Garrick Saga. Turn four, sack the one drop, get Godric, play Godric, just like wrecks me. And the game two, I just threw a bunch of lands and whatever. And then the games weren't very good, but that wasn't very good either, though. And then the third round, my opponent was Blue Black Fairies. Uh, I multi five, he multi six, and he just like had a good fairy curve and just kind of like got me. And it just sucked, honestly. Deck wasn't great, but draws are pretty bad also. And unfortunately, I, I 0 3 the draft. Not so good. So bringing me, uh, you know, 1 2 with that really, really good deck, and then 0 3 with this deck. I would think the first leg is a 3-0, at least a 2-1. I think it's that could have won, dude. You know, maybe 2-1 with some luck. You know, there's some some things happening here. I, think I did, a, I did a, a, an okay enough job to, like, find a, you know, a way to make the deck playable. You know, like, Archive Dragon, Hamlet Glutton, Ramp, Unnatural Growth. Like, definitely, you know, there's a path to victory. Uh, but was not to be. And, uh, you know, yeah, three, three Gluttons and an Unnatural Growth. It's not, like, that's a plan, you know? Like, it's got a puncher's chance for sure, but... Didn't end up going great, unfortunately. And I think that I definitely just didn't draft enough for this. You know, we we didn't draft at all until deck submission. And uh, we probably should have, realistically. So, those are my drafts and worlds. Um, I think that for this next coming year for PTs, I need to work on my limited game a little bit. Make sure I'm playing more. Um, I only got... I got less than 20 drafts in before worlds. Uh, and uh, it wasn't really enough at all. So, it is what it is. So, that's my recap. Again, you want to watch the full recap on the main channel going over the entire event. I came in 40th, won $9,000, but all the details will be in that video. Check that one out. We'll want to focus on just draft decks here. And then Bronze Mythic will return uh, regular scheduled programming uh, next, uh, next, whenever the next episode should be. So, YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, folks. Appreciate it.